Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. Hello. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied, savior-of-humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Yes, hello. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. That is no ordinary book. I can sense it from here. Nothing in this place is ever ordinary. Especially this. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. No good ever comes from a book like that. Trust me. Funny. You sound like Wanda. She was also afraid of her power. I can almost hear her scolding me for invading her privacy. But I've done far worse than to rummage through someone else's things. Far worse. And so have you. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay. I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye.
Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? did the math, it would actually be faster for me to fly. So what is stopping you? The shockwave would shatter most of the glass in my approach path. Ah, that is not good. Yeah, I try to be considerate. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world-ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. Interesting. I am afraid you might not make it back from this one. Prepare yourself. Get it. 
this time. Trying to play. Is that all? Shoot up here. It is your pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus. I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. like old times.
don't know when to quit. The last thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that, Chopper. Please. With pleasure. So far. Away. Do not worry, heroes. You will still witness the results of my work firsthand on the field of battle. predicament.
by association. Prepare yourself. <laughs> a few more you don't even know what it is you're pursuing the gamma disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning show yourself to me Faustus I will open the door your eyes ferocious spirit you truly are your mother's child hunter Know my reputation. Reinforcements inbound. Hydra! The last thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that chopper, please. With pleasure. Coming back to me. Your time has come. Hail that.
cannot possibly match your strength. They got away. to see it. That was something. Spotted enemy reinforcements. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus. I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. this buffoon to win today. Stop that chopper, please. With pleasure. Only the innocent are spared. <laughs>
You've grounded the helicopter. Excellent. Now you'll need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces. It is all coming back to me. You have earned this. Want me out of the picture. We must help them. Mercenary, I mean. Vengeance returns. You don't know who you're messing with. Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp.
Good day, Hunter. New York always comes together during a crisis, and seeing us fight for them hastens it. Man, I think they got the hell right on one of those traffic camps. You have that, I want to ask you something, but I'm not sure I should look on your face. Go on, ask. What does it feel like to fly? That's not it. You really wanted to ask if Captain Marvel can take you flying sometime. That would be wonderful, if you do not mind. I'll put you down on the list. You are the last Midnight Sun to ask. I'm actually surprised Blade wants some airtime. I'm not. What? Uh, nothing. Okay then. We're doing this again. Make plans.
That looks good. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you were going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten.
Oster smiles upon me. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old dead woman. <sighs> Hocus pocus. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck.
address it up in the stars. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. I should try this somewhere else. Hmm. This does not work. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you...
Was that really her? <laughs> Yet another victory for the hunter. Damn it. You totally ambushed me with that pair of queens. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be such a formidable poker player. Yet another reason to respect you. It is just beginner's luck. I'm sure your next hand will vanquish me. There you go again, being all unexpectedly humble and generous. You're a hard demon to dislike, Hunter. Even if you are beating my butt at Hold'em. You do not dislike me, Captain? Don't get too excited. I didn't say I liked you either, but you've got potential. Deal another hand, then? I'm all in.
Hey Hunter, when you've got a minute, could you meet me in the war room? A successful collaboration. Coil, let's get to work. If this thing behind me turns into a giant, let's see what you've got here. How does this look? Tony. Later. Ready to work? If you can be Carol and... Even a Sorcerer Supreme can rest on his walls. A good match! See you around. Day, Hunter. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor?
Thanks, Hunter. I feel like... Well, don't leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place, what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. If I had known it meant this much to you, I would have waited. It was not my intention to defy or hurt you. Hurt, no. Defy, maybe. At the same time, I know I haven't been very open with you about everything that's happened. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction, but maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. <laughs>